To determine whether table sugar, sucrose, is ionic or covalent, let's look at the chemical formula and the periodic table divided into metals, metalloids, and nonmetals. So we first look at carbon. We have 12 carbons. Carbon's a nonmetal. Hydrogen, we have 22 of those. Hydrogen, that's a nonmetal as well. And then oxygen here, we have 11 oxygens. Oxygen, that's a nonmetal. When we have all nonmetals, we have what's called a covalent or a molecular compound. So in answer to our question, table sugar, this sucrose, is a covalent compound. What that means is when we look at the structure here, the molecular structure for C12H22O11, sucrose, the bonds between atoms, the electrons that are in those bonds, are shared between atoms. So since it's covalent, the electron pairs between atoms forming those chemical bonds are shared. So in answer to our question, table sugar, sucrose, it's a covalent compound because it's made up of all nonmetals. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.